Benny, I don't know what's going on with your Wi-Fi. Welcome back, everybody, to episode 49, 49 of the Three Dudes Podcast. Glad to have you back. We took a week off. We uh, Probably a couple weeks since we filmed. It's been a while. We, yeah. we goofed on the schedule there, but uh, we're here now. And if you're listening, it's because you like listening to us, so thanks for coming back. 3rd of July, currently right now. Hopefully you guys have a good 4th of July when you listen to this. I wonder how many people are going to listen on the 4th of July. Should we title it 4th of July? And then just so people listen. <laughs> we don't say one word about the 4th of July. Not a lick. Except 4th of July America. special. Roll America. That's about all we got to say about that. So I did get a little bit of feedback on the podcast. From? It was at the lake on uh, Saturday. Um, Soltis. Okay. Nick? Nick Soltis. Yep. Nick, congratulations so, on getting engaged. Yep. So he said that... Uh, Frequently, him and Callie throw on the podcast when they're driving around. Mm -hmm. And he said his one piece of feedback is maybe get into the topic a little bit quicker or at least mention the topic at the front, what we're going to be talking about. So I guess we can just live live three dudes meeting here if we want to, you know, do we want to cut out some of the fat that we have at the beginning. Just to give you guys a preface, this whole episode is going to be fat. We're just going to be fluffing this. We're going to be catching up, talking a little bit about what's been happening the last couple of weeks. I mean, we've been with each other, but I haven't. Not here, you know. Well, more or less, yeah. You guys are in Vegas. Tell me about Vegas. <sighs> it started horrendously. <laughs> yeah. Everybody had to have been down at least a week's paycheck, at least. Started horrendously. Uh, we, I th- we had to be down two, three, four hundred dollars before we even got into our room. Jesus. So check in was at what three o'clock? Yeah, we got there at about noon. No, we got there probably one thirty, I think. And then we put our bag in the concierge. It's all shame. <laughs> we didn't leave Grand Forks until literally twelve thirty. So I don't know how we got there at noon. <laughs> because it's like two hour fight, and we leave. It, yeah, time, time, zone. time difference. Oh, yeah. yeah. All, right. all right. So we got there at noon, and we went to the concierge, dropped our bags off, and then we just, you know, a little premature ejaculate. We they take your bags to your room? No. no, we put them in the. They hold the bag because our rooms we couldn't check in until like three or four. Okay. So then we're like, we'll just put our bags here, come back and get them, and then we'll go to our rooms. We didn't want to pay the thirty dollars to get in our room early. Don't you blame know, you. Thirty bucks, or just let some old man have them for a bit. He did some good. guy on the <laughs> side of the road hold these yeah. bags real quick. Yeah, he wasn't tied to the hotel at all. He's yeah. just like, I can hold those. And then we had to find him. He wasn't even near us. He was like a block over when we went to get our bags. Yeah. Um. But yeah, then we immediately went to the crap table. It and didn't help. And it and it wasn't good after that. No, no, it wasn't. Um, yeah, just got a little too a little too horny for the gambling. We should have just mm-hmm. scouted it out a little bit. Took some steps in Nevada, walked around a little bit, but we didn't. How Nothing. do you not jump right into it though? Oh, just walk. There's <laughs> just walk past it. Turn the blind I, shoulder. You know I do why you're here. Ad- admire us and the fact that we didn't dip our toes in the water and we did a cannonball right away. Exactly. Oh, yeah. However, there wasn't any water to begin with. We just jumped to the no. bottom of the pool. We just hit and landed cement. right on our asses. <laughs> yeah. That was, yeah. It was pretty much us jumping in a p- waterless pool. I was yeah. going to say poolless water, but that's Just not, drained it. Yeah. Some kids shit in the pool. We should have planned a little bit more. Like the USA-Mexico game was soccer game. Or not USA-Mexico. USA-Canada. Yes. Right? USA-Canada yep. soccer game was happening there, and tickets were like $60. We could easily went to that. We didn't go to any shows. We didn't do pretty much anything. But gamble really. and yeah. consume alcohol. First day was bad. Very bad. Like, I don't think I put money into anything, table game or or slot machine or anything, and I got it over what I started with. I put in a 20, never got above 20 again. Put in 100, never got over 100 again. Mm. It's not what you like to see. It's a tough look, but... Those are the perils of the first day. Let's go into day two. Well, let's go. what do we even do the first day? Because the first day, it was, well, man, we j- ended up just getting. It's all fucking blur. If, yeah. you think, if I have ever been to Vegas, Honestly, yeah. four days turns into one day, and it's like, when did these things happen? But we stayed on the strip for two days. Stayed we did downtown so for much two walking. Days. Like, we literally we walked all the way down to the south end of the strip by Planet Hollywood and Paris and all that, and then immediately went. All the way back to the north end by uh, Treasure Island. 
Well, we got absolutely fisted so bad in craps. It's any Caesars property we stepped into. So we're like, let's go to Treasure Island and play, <laughs> which I don't know who. I think we're, there's four of us. There's probably eight people in the casino. Three of the other dealers and then an old lady. Yeah. Yeah. And we played there and I think we did good there. Played some electronic roulette, did good there. Walked around the fashion show mall and then me, Broden, and Barch played quarters for probably an hour. At least. We just you ever play quarters? bounced a quarter off a table into a oh, cup. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. And then some homeless guy stole our quarter. Oh, that was awesome. We thought we he wanted to, he came up and he goes, can you do a G a favor or something like that? This guy was white. So with him Straight talking like us. that, yeah, he's he, <laughs> he for a loop a bit. yeah, him talking like that. I should have known red flag number one. Yeah. And then I thought he wanted to play. So I hand him the quarter and he goes, thanks. And walks away. That's it. <laughs> yep. Took a quarter. How do you not just watch him walk away and be like, all right, we did. We pulled another quarter out of our pocket. And we're like, I guess he has our first quarter. Take it away, man. It was, it, yeah. The loss has never ended. Couldn't even no. play quarters. Yeah, we couldn't even <laughs> got robbed by anyone. The strip was bad to us. Yeah. And so yeah. you and Barch had a little bit of an excursion late night. Yeah. So there was a couple of stories on the way there. I think the first night we went over to the Flamingos. Is that when you guys were trapped in that Kino area? And I couldn't yep, find yep, you. Yep. And I, I was at a table and there was this Asian fellow that bought him for $5,000. Hmm. And he was playing 50, 150 on the all tall small. You weren't there. It was just me and my dad. And I was like, holy Lord. So that pays, you know, a hundred bucks. It would have paid 1500 if you would have hit it. In every roll, 50, 100, 50. I'm like, I play like five, five, five. I'm like, why are you here at this table, this $15 craps table at the Flamingo? You think there'd be those high rollers at the other casinos, you know? Right. Yeah, it's fun. He lost a lot of money. Um, I lost everything I had at that table at that point. <laughs> and then I went to try to find Broden, found another craps table. It's weird. They're like magnets. <laughs> <laughs> you don't find them. They exactly. Find like, I'm like, got to walk that way. Yeah. Broden's right over there. And then I look, yeah. and there's an empty crap table, and there's three dealers looking at you like, how would you like to play some crap? <laughs> Easton's oh, over here going, right. okay, if you're going to twist my arm, <laughs> yeah. I'll come play. Don't talk me into it. So I went there. I actually won that time. Probably won a couple hundred bucks. Walked back to the cage. Went back in the same direction I was just at. Tried to find Broden again. Same crap table. Empty. Like, fuck it, let's do it again. <laughs> Stood there again. Just you? Yeah, just me. Yeah. Played again. Lost a hundred bucks. I was like, fuck. <laughs> so then did the same loop, found my dad. Me and my dad started walking. Same crap stable. So then me and him played. And there was this other guy. He's like, You guys can throw. I can't throw for shit. So then finally, I think we even there, walked back around, finally found Broden. And then I think all four of us played at that table. Yep. Yeah. And it sucked. Not good? No, no, not good at all. That was yeah, Barch. Barch and I decided to go old lady mode and have a dart and play Keno for three hours. It was great. Yeah. Cause sounds wonderful. when you bet a quarter, it's really, it takes a long time to go through a hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I bet. So, and then we went downtown and Keno. So that's basically a game. You pick nine numbers and then ping pong balls just drop. And it's like, ding, 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 ding. And however many of your numbers that you picked, however many of them hit, yeah, that's what you get paid out. So the more, if you hit, five out of nine six out of nine the more you get paid better and it's like four o'clock in the morning downtown barch hits eight out of nine for 1200 on a 25 cent bet yeah okay, and i'm like quarters no twelve hundred dollars it pays out like it's like 1250 bucks it's like it was seven thousand some quarters whatever. yeah yeah it's horrible math. It's I like don't know. F- Five thousand quarters <laughs> it's um, right over yeah. my head that's funny. um but no so it was like four in the morning and I was sitting on the machine next to him, almost like sleeping, like yeah. leaning into the machine. And he just hit sucker punches me in the arm. Benny. I look over and it's just $1,200 on the screen. I'm like, fuck. Here we go. Why couldn't it have been me? <laughs> <Our first laughs> That's what right? I was thinking. You were sleeping. Hit out at eight out of nine. Yeah, that woke me up. So then we didn't go to bed. But before that, after the first day of getting just put through the ringer, Broden, you probably, you and my dad went to bed at like four and we were playing at Harris and they were bringing in the morning dealers. Yeah. I'm like, oh, it's getting late. And I had my lucky fedora on for anyone that listened to the show and is on the Vegas uh, snap story. I bought a wide brim fedora. I should have freaking wore it this episode. Um, I'll wear it next episode. But I rolled for probably an hour and a half, no sevens, and made $3,400. It was electric. Lost Sick. it all, but it's fine. Hey. Not all of it. 
but so. it uh, made up for the first day and then next couple of days just coasted. So I wasn't down a shit ton, but yeah, that was electric. And then we met up with Connor. Yep. Connor Tanny. He, Conrad. And apparently, um, he doesn't lose money when he gambles in Vegas. He never goes down to the strip or downtown to gamble ever. For the people that don't li- know, Connor Tanny's a local. He lives in Vegas. Yeah. He's a buddy of ours from days gone by. Days gone by. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Every time that's that would be like three or four times that Easton and I have met up with him in Vegas and mm-hmm. he comes out ahead every time and somehow so do we. When he gambles with us, we come out ahead for the night. One oh drove me nuts though. We're all playing. Us four plus Tanny, five of us. Yeah. All playing at a table. No one's really doing amazing. Us four kind of cash out. And Tanny's like, we go over there and sitting at the slot machines. He's like, I'm feeling hot. I'm gonna go play. Walks back over, plays by himself, rolls for an hour. No one else at the table but him. And he's, he's not playing anything. So he made like $30. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, Danny, if you were playing this right now, I'd be up like five grand. Yeah. He hit the nine five times in a row. I watched it. <laughs> oh. yeah. I'm like, what's going on? And I was so pissed because when I was playing, yeah. he couldn't roll for shit. Yeah. yeah. And he goes and plays. But he's like, I'm feeling it. I'm like, yeah. And then Broden finally walks over. He's like, dude, you got to play some more numbers. You're not going to make any money. Yeah. He, he was playing the pass line and his odds. And I think he had fifteen dollars on the eight. Yeah, that's <laughs> and that, it. That was it. He had fifty dollars on the table. Spread them, <laughs> and he was just collecting twenty dollars, twenty dollars. So he like, ended up making a couple hundred bucks, I think. Yeah. But the guy across from him that was playing with him, this old man, he had three thousand dollars in front of him <gasps> because he kept playing come bets. Yeah. So it moved to the number. He'd hit the number, win. Move to the number, hit the number, win. I'm like, what's going on right now, Tanny? <laughs> so I was almost like pissed inside. I was yeah. like, if I was playing on this roll. Be a rich man. Yeah. Yeah. I remember you looked at me and you go, dude, I'd have $400 on the nine right now. <laughs> yeah. Because every time you hit the nine, I just press it up, press yeah. double it, double it, double it. So right. Tanny's just five in a row. And I'm just like salivating. I'm like, yeah. oh, I can't believe I'm not playing Get right now. Here. Yeah. But uh, I mean, yeah, I don't know if I'm just like really lucky, but that's two Vegas trips in a row where I've hit five point fire bets. So I hit all five points in one roll. For yeah. 2400 last year and then 3400 this year. That's pretty solid. So I'm thinking I'm wasting all my Vegas luck here young, early in life. I no. think you're wasting your time being here right now. Feel like <laughs> you should be in Vegas right now. Yeah. It sounds like you have yourself a craft. I just take this off of walking. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah, but it was a good time. Mm-hmm. Um, I threw for quite a while at Binion's. Yeah, bro, I made a f- five, six hundred bucks, I think, Yeah, mm-hmm. on that one roll. Yeah. Um, it's a good time. It's fun when you get a good table that's electric. Yeah, especially because like we we always like play for us and for the dealers. Like we'll play like a two way box car. Or, yeah. Oh my or, god, we chase box cars for the whole weekend. Like literally. everybody hit one except for your dad. <laughs> yeah. So like everybody would all be like five dollars for box cars, all of us plus five bucks for the dealers. Yeah. So everyone in the casino is cheering for it. We missed it. We probably went through freaking five hundred dollars worth of box cars didn't hit. Yeah. It. yeah. But the couple times that it did hit. Yeah. It gets you going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That gets a guy going. You're poking holes through concrete. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, downtown uh, treated us a lot better. Went to the Circa Pool. Uh, have you been? You've been to Vegas. You didn't go to the Circa Pool. Been, though, no, did you? I didn't know. That's with the like 125 foot TV screen on top of the roof. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Uh, bet the no run first inning on the Twins game. I think that what they give up is just a bomb, just a piss missile, like two batters in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. It's like, okay, there's that $50 gone. What was the bet? What, what was the payout going to be? I think 50 paid like 90 back. So you're 50 bucks, one you 40. But then, yeah, I bet 100 on the Twins and 50 on the no run first inning. Or no, I didn't bet. You bet the no run first inning for the Twins. I I had a parlay. I had yeah. no run first inning for the Twins game, no run first inning for the Padres-Giants game. Those both hit, and then... With two outs in the bottom of the first, Nathan Eovaldi gave up a home run. Yes. Fist me. That's what I had. Yeah. I had Nathan Eovaldi, who's like a Cy Young contender, yeah. and Dylan Cease, who's just sick. And I had $50 on just that game. I'm like, all right, one more out. Here we go. If he would have got one out, it would have paid us all. Yeah. Roden had it. Barch had it. I had it. Missile into the stands <laughs> for like sick. That's, that's great. That's so fun. That's good. At least, I mean, it was only 50 bucks. Yeah. But. And then I had a hundred on the twins and they lost. Yeah. They had Sonny Gray was going her best pitcher. Yeah. Lost. Next day, hundred on the twins. They won. But it came down to the ninth inning. I was, I was Kyle Farmer. Sure. Yeah. Kyle Farmer. Get you going a little bit though. Yeah. So that was good. But downtown treated us way better, I think. Yeah. And we even got to see some creatures, dude. Oh, of course. <laughs> 
There's nothing. <laughs> there's almost nothing but creatures. Like think of like the state fair. Yeah. And then everybody there is a sight to see. Did yeah. you? Were you on the snap, sir? Yeah. So you saw scary at Tubman. <laughs> Broden oh, man. is looking at me, and I'm looking at this chick. I got to, Nathan, write down the time of the episode right now because I'm going to put a picture on for the people that are watching, a little Easter egg. And it's this black lady, and she looks like a cartoon character because of her hips. Like the craziest thing ever is like had saddlebags, <laughs> and I, I'm staring at her like a hole through her. And Broden's like, what are you looking at? And I'm like, her. And he goes, oh, you mean scary at Tubman? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God. Come so, on. dude, I, I like it's like a bad car accident. You can't take the eyes off her. Yeah. It's yeah, like I, her legs look so fake, dude. I, yeah, I don't know how you get that build. I don't know are you if drugs are involved. Like, do you remember in what, SpongeBob but. when Squidward eats all the Krabby Patties and he's just got the giant legs? I don't Is remember that. that, that? Like, her upper body was like so like skinny like normal like not skinny but like normal and just then, normal like, as soon as like it got past her hips just wide yeah dude huh <laughs> yeah oh, i remember i remember that on your story now nathan but she was doing some weird shit like she was like cracked out or something yeah, yeah. that's why i called do, her you know? scary yeah. at tubman and then broden asked me a question about scary at tubman and there was another black gentleman that had like white all over his lips and two jugs of cum. <laughs> <laughs> two jugs of white liquid. liquid, And white that, just pasted his lips. And Broden goes, does that guy have two jugs of cum? <laughs> said, those, are, those are cum jugs. <laughs> <laughs> and then we circle back around. Broden goes, what do you think the kid would be like if Scary Tubman and cum jugs had a baby? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, what a visual. What a visual. That, yeah, that was insane because... You know what it looks like. Oh, it's not quite milk, and that no. stuff yeah. just wasn't quite just milk. Just wasn't milk. <laughs> yeah, it's like lidocaine. Yeah. Looks like that. Yeah. <laughs> you to get like a weird bottle. Um, but yeah, that was Fremont Street's different, man. A lot Dude, of fun. I can't wait. Are you planning? You said you're planning on a trip later this year. Two weeks. Two from now. Yeah. What from yesterday? Not this coming weekend, but the weekend after. I thought you meant. I thought you were talking like October. Yeah, we'll that go again too. in the winter. Kyler wants to go <clears throat> uh, for his birthday in October. Who's going in two weeks? Me, Shayna, Breck, and Spencer, Carter, Ashley. Uh, and then my parents are going. Okay. No, we were, yeah, we were talking about going in December for years of Noah's birthday. Yeah. Remember? Oh, yeah, we were talking to Noah McQuaid's. Yeah. Yeah. Noah Tate. Tate. What a guy. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a guy. Love Noah. Yeah, me too. Um, but yeah, flies, he flies planes. Yeah, Vegas was fun. There's another. Um, so if you guys are like fans of us, you maybe understand this a little bit more. But we're walking past the Carnival Court, and this guy's slapping those. You've been there, and they got this, they slap the things with the titties on them, strip club yeah. flyers. And he's like, Get you the strip club. And I was like, Ah, oh. he's like, I said, No, I'm good. And he's like, Ah, oh, you lame as hell. And then I kept walking. He's like, and you thick as hell. <laughs> and he's looking at my ass and I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> but because I was wearing just tight Lulu shorts. Yeah. He's like, and you thick as hell. And I'm like, oh, God, I think that oh, guy's going to follow me into the casino here. You um, do have a lower body on yeah, you. Yeah, you do. Yeah. You can't. Is it? Is, do you think that what you felt in that moment is like what a woman feels like when she's just being that's, objectified? That's what I was thinking. But honestly, yeah. like, I liked it. So I don't get See? why it's Ex not so bad, is it, ladies? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I don't know what you guys are bitching about. <laughs> if I was built like that, and if I walked past a group of girls and they were like, "Damn, he's built," yeah, I would, I would be flying high like, ah, for weeks. Yeah, you weeks, just kind of blush a little bit. Yeah, and I didn't think, a, yeah, like a six foot five black male could make me blush like that, but he <laughs> did. Hey, yeah, and then uh, yeah, because I'm trying to think what else we encountered. There's so much stuff. Another guy. It's so weird, those street, what would you call them, solicitors? Vendors? No, they're not vendors. They're not selling you much. <laughs> but he he was like, ah, get you the strip club, free limo. I was like, I'm good. And he's like, well, you're going to be fucking your hand later. And I'm like, <laughs> all right. I was planning uh, on that anyway, I sir. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't think I'm going to get with any of those strippers either. So um, well, You'd be surprised. You think as hell. Yeah, I guess. You it, might. Yeah. Um, but yeah, is there anything else, Bernie, you can think of that was pretty 
Just, I don't know, maybe walking 18 miles on Tuesday or Monday, whatever day it was. Just logging them in. Yeah, I was yeah. dead after that. little cheat code for the people that go to Vegas and they want some free money. If you go downtown to the El Cortez and you show your boarding pass, they'll give you a free $25 bet on a table game and free $10 in slots. So that's kind of cool. You, you just got to sign up for their player's card. Yeah, and then once you have a player's card, which we do, I lost it, by the way. Same. Yeah, mine's still in that slot machine. <laughs> yeah, I right put by it in the pisser. And I thought, so it's like free $10 slot play. I'm like, awesome. I stuck in a machine, hit one spin, gone. I was in the high limit, high limit room, I guess. Yeah, yeah $10 spin. Uh, so that sucked, and then we lost a free play bet, $50 hand of blackjack. I won. Broden won it. Yeah, I turned $50 of free money into $100 of my own money. Yeah. Righteous. So that's pretty cool if you can get those free plays. Um, trying to think what else happened. Dancing dealers are always fun. <laughs> yeah, you were asking so many questions about that. You're like, they teach you how to dance at dancing dealer school or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And the lady was like, dealers. no, does it look like anybody took classes here? <laughs> and they're just doing some like. <laughs> yeah, they just stand up on the platform and they're like. Which but, I don't uh, get why they do it. that. Broden called me out for something that apparently I didn't know I did. Remember at the chicken shop? Oh, yeah, you and your dad, too. <laughs> I oh, sat him down and I had to talk about him. Yeah. Anytime. We any- went to the sweet, like, fast food restaurant that sold chicken, all chicken. Like What's chicken sandwich. I don't even remember. John, Huey chick- Magoo's. Chick- Huey Magoo's. Oh, yes. That's not what oh, it was funny. so good. What? Think about oh, Chick-fil-A, there, but dad. better. There's some. There's another chicken place in Vegas there that I can't remember. I ate it. It was really good. Was it on the Stripper downtown? I thought it was like Cluck something. Oh, I I think mm-hmm. I've heard of what you're talking about. Cluck Shack or Cluck Shack? <laughs> Cluck's Kitchen, maybe. Cluck I, I like the Cluck Shack. If it's not a restaurant, <laughs> it should be. <laughs> we might have just done something yeah. right there. Nathan, look up uh, chicken stores in Vegas. Chicken stores. <laughs> chicken stores. <laughs> look up, buy a lot look of chicken. Up Cluck something. The Cluck Bucket. I don't. Fuck the it. Cluck Bucket. <laughs> Dude, I don't know, but it has a like the chum bucket. It has to have some sort of comical name because that's the only thing that's coming to me right the now. Cluck bucket. That's maybe better than the cluck shack. <laughs> cluck shack and the cluck bucket. Uh, the buck cluck it. Um, the cluck bucket could be a meal at the cluck shack. It'd just be a bucket of chicken. Yeah. It's What's chicken. your fun name? This fried chicken. It's fried chicken. Um. But no, you I were, sat, yeah. I sat east and, and Jason down, and I looked at him, and I said, "How come?" Every time that an Asian person starts talking to you and you have an accent or they have an accent, you immediately copy their accent when you reply to them. <laughs> and they do because they'd be like, hey, uh, sir, uh, you owe me $20. And Easton will pull $20 out of his wallet and go, okay, here, $20. <laughs> and like say it back to her just like that. I didn't realize I did <laughs> and, and Serious? We, yeah. I'm not doing it intentionally like the mocker. I think it's just like I want to be on almost, her. Almost in your blood. Yeah, like her cultural <laughs> level. Well, yeah, that too. You, you but no, I really. Like they both do it. Blindfold myself. And I was like, "Are you guys class. like trying to make fun of them?" We were like, "What? Are, what are you talking about?" I'm like, "Every time you say the accent back to them, and they didn't realize that they, I thought they were doing it to make fun of them because every time they do it, I just start busting out laughing." Yeah, and then, yeah, like, we're like, "Why are you laughing?" You no I didn't idea. realize I did it. Yeah, because I think she was like, <clears throat> "Sir, you want a receipt?" And I was like, "Yeah, I take a receipt." <laughs> so, and I was like, "Why did I say it like that?" <laughs> Why did I do that? Yeah, you I don't know. said that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> unintentionally. I took too. a receipt. Go ahead. There's a what the clock? What the clock? Uh, give me another one. All the other ones are like normal names, like the Crack Shack. Um, what? The Chicken Sack. The crack Shack. Shack. That's where freaking scary Tubman lives. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> big cum jugs. <laughs> cum jars. Jugs. There's you a way either <laughs> either no, size. You want plastic or glass? <laughs> I'm going to make an example. What measure you want? Plastic or glass? We don't do small, medium, large. It's plastic yeah. or glass. You want jug or you want jar? <laughs> jug or jar cum sales. <laughs> that was his business name. Oh, God. Oh. But yeah, um, downtown's always fun. I like staying there. It, it downtown, I think, is probably slept on a little bit because it's not as... We did find the bounciest table on earth. Craps table. Yeah, I think... Golden Gate. Oh, my God. That's a story I forget about. We're playing at the Golden Gate. There's a guy, remember? He bought into the left of me, and he was playing the don't pass for $2,000. 
So every time, and I'm throwing, he's betting against me. And he's saying seven, seven, seven at the table. And I'm freaking hit my points, shoving it up his ass so yeah. bad. So like he started with like $500, missed, plays the don't pass again. I hit another point. He bumps it up to like 1000 then bumps it up to 2000 Finally, like on his last, I think you were rolling or maybe Barch, but his last like $3,000 bet, we sevened out. So he got paid. He's like, there we go. There we go. And I was like, you're still down money, dude. Yeah. And I was like, fucking shove it, dude. He literally would. He didn't want to watch. So he'd put money on the betting on the seven that we all lose. And then he'd walk away and he's like, tell me what the number comes. And he'd walk away and go smoke by the bar. You can do that? Oh, yeah. And they just put like a little cover over his chips. I was like, fuck this guy, man. He was. So we're all. And he's like, because Barch and Broden were at one end of the table. Me and my dad at the other end. And. When you got like six, seven people at the table, it's it's not slow, but like it takes a while to get everyone's bets in and you're throwing yeah. in like hard ways and boxcars and all that. And he was bitching. He's like, come on, just pass him the fucking dice. So then my dad's getting in his ear. Oh. He's like, take your time, Broden. Take yeah, your time. Was, Here we yeah. go. And uh, like I set my dice up and, you know, yeah. like I'll switch it to, you know, get the formation that How I you want. Like them? And yeah. then, you know, I'll take a second look at him and then throw him. He's like, just throw the fucking dice. That's when yeah. I heard your dad was like, yep. Take as long as you need. Yeah. <laughs> and the best part is that was the bounciest table. So the game was going slower because yeah. one dice would hit and it'd skyrocket into the other side of the casino. Yeah. <laughs> They're flying everywhere off the table. <laughs> they get so, to go pick them up and bring them back. Yeah. 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 So then the dealers, or the pit boss got to inspect them. And then if you say same dice, it takes even longer. Yeah. Was yeah. it you that I want to say, no, it was Tanny. We were playing and it was at the bounciest table ever again. So he kept bouncing them off and they were flying there. So eventually Tanny kind of like limp dicked it just yeah. like just to keep him in the table. Yeah. And then he gets it and rolls and the pit boss goes, got to hit the wall. He's like, I've been throwing them out, man. Like I was just yeah. trying to keep him inside of the table. So and then he sevens out. My dad's pissed. He's like, why are you telling him to keep him in the table? He's literally throwing them off the table. I think Tanny threw them, didn't even hit the table, threw them and like hit a guy in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> Was it someone had sunglasses hanging from their shirt? Yeah. Like Drill. threw him, didn't even, if this is the rail, threw him over the rail. <laughs> it was straight across. <laughs> it was turning a double play, just chucked Yeah, it. literally. It was like you're flipping a double play, man. It was awesome. Um, But yeah, downtown, I don't know. I, don't, I always try to decipher whether I like downtown or the strip more. I like downtown better this time. I'd have to go again to be able to know what you guys are talking about. Because I couldn't tell you where I was. Because you being you were on the seasoned, strip. You were on the strip. That's, okay, was strip. that's where uh, Excalibur, Luxor, Planet Hollywood. Yeah. That's all the strip. Downtown is like a 10 minute drive. Okay. And, and it's got that big light up screen over the road. Over Fremont Street. Yeah. It's like an electronic thing. So yeah, you're on the strip. There's like no cars on it. Yeah. Just crackheads. <laughs> Just crackheads. All crack. Um, but yeah, it was fun. I've had better luck. Like I've hit my two big winnings on the strip. That's because downtown has like no fire bets. No, but they have cheaper minimums. Yeah. Normally. $10. Ten. But it's stupid because we play $10 table. I don't even play. I do that stupid 110 inside shit, which I'm not going to do anymore. I put, I'm like, oh, let's find a low table limit. And then I bet $100. Like, what is the matter if I'm at a $10 table or I'm at a $25 table? Yeah. I'd say you but, high roll it. You're there for a reason, aren't you? Yeah. I was talking to another... Sorry, I was really thirsty. There. That's fine. No, take your time. I was talking to another uh, person, which I will not say who it is, just to keep their confidentiality. But they say they bring five thousand dollars a day in Vegas, and a I'm like, day, because they were asking me why I was staying at. Uh, we stayed at Harris, which is <clears throat> it, like it's not a high end property, but we had free rooms there. Uh, that little area, Flamingo Caesars Link, it's nice because you can walk everywhere. He's like, oh, I stay over uh, across the street. At the higher end properties, I'm also gonna and say the property because it might give away the person. But uh, I stay across the street, and I'm like, well, I can't afford that shit because I don't That's get free rooms over there. Yeah, and he's like, oh, well, I bring five thousand dollars a day. If I lose it, I'm done. I'm like, That's why you're staying over there because your budget is way, yeah, way more than monstrously mine. larger. Yeah. So he said he lost like last time like twenty six grand his last trip. And I'm like, cool, man. Good for you. Hmm. This is the best 26 grand he's ever lost, though. Probably. I, I never I'd had so say. much fun losing all that money that I did. I mean, I eventually I made it back and got back to near even. So but. I don't know. First day, man, I literally thought about like booking a flight out of there. I was like, this is the worst. I didn't know you this could lose it. that much. 
like oh who, not like lose that much money but lose at that rate of frequency yeah over and over again like you could Only not losses. could not win one bet at all and actually the worst part about that was as well we were all losing i had a throw where that one lady had like 50 dollar hard eights and i hit it twice in a row and, and we she just it, made yeah. so much money on it and we all just yeah got shit on and even like the t- ultimate hold them three card poker I'll we, never play ultimate hold'em with you guys again. That sucked. <laughs> you guys were like let's we did good find way to make money. We did find the cheat code in Vegas though. Free bet blackjack. Free bet blackjack. Go on. So you play free bet and you get free doubles and free splits. Oh, I think Brolin was telling me about this. Yeah. So you put money on the pot of gold and then you collect these gold coins. Is this electronic? No. Nope. No. Nope. Table game. Okay. You awesome. get free doubles as long as it's a it has to be a nine, ten, or eleven, and there can't be an ace in your hand. And you get a free double. Yep. Nine, 10 or 11. And then you'd free double any pair you split and you get a free coin. So yep. you pretty much split everything just to get the coin. So if you're playing that, you get the coin, right? You have $5 on it. Yeah. If you get one coin, it pays one to one, two coins, no, is three to one, three one to coin. one. Yep. So you get 15 bucks. And then hmm. if you get two coins, it's like seven to one or something. Yep. And then three coins is 30 to one. Yeah. So like if you, 150 if bucks, you get if twos you get- and split, that's two coins right there. Yeah. Then if you get another two, that's three. That's 30 to one and whatever you bet. And Barch, and I think you and all I of us. I hit a $10. I had we, four, three coins on $10 bet and paid 300 I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. And I won the hand. You'd have to get the jaws of life to get me off that table. It, it's so that much was, fun, dude. We went up so quick, too. Yeah. We like, didn't even play much of it until the last day. And then Broden and Barch decided our flight was at 6 in the morning. Yeah. So they're like, we're just going to stay up till 4. And then so Why the last you? game we played, well, I had to drive back from Grand Forks, so I went to bed. But the last game we played was free bet blackjack, and we were all up like three, four, five hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. And then they stayed up. I don't know how well you did the rest of the night. Uh, I tried to finish every off pack some, of darts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Vegas picking was, up, picking yeah. them up off the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Barch and I just wanted to hang out, and <laughs> we put $100 into Kino, and we were just going to play with whatever $100 got us. Yeah. I think I hit a six out of seven, got myself up to 200 and eventually sat there for so long. I went from 200 down to zero <laughs> because I I'm just, quarters. yeah, <sighs> just cause I was like, it's only one thirty. Like I'm not going to bed now. If you yeah. want to burn some time in Vegas, like if you're like, I don't want to go buy into craps for 150 bucks. Yeah. Go play Kino. It's boring as fuck. i never do it because yep. it's so boring. But those three, my dad got them into it. So now they're like freaking old ladies. Yeah. Like, Let's Sitting just go play Kino. I'm like, hammering God. cigarettes. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I'd rather just go it's, in one of those circles on Fremont Street and play with cum jugs. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's cheap. It's 25 it cents a bet. Yeah. So, I mean, even 20 bucks, even 50 bucks will last you a long time. You get off your feet for a little and it, it doesn't cost you any money. And Barch, when he hit the eight out of nine, one in 40,000, I think, is the odds of hitting it. No way. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> My dad's been playing Kino for 25 years. He's never hit 8 out of 9. Wow. Yeah. So he was pretty a sour. Yeah. <laughs> a little like about like, why couldn't that happen to me, man? I've been playing Kino way longer than he has. Yeah. I've been playing Kino way longer than he has. Yeah. Which is crazy. And I was like slumped over this. Benny. And I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and when I won that $3,400 scraps, Barch turned $10 into $1,400. Dude. Bring Barch every time. Yeah. Bring Barch every time. Yeah. You shitting me? He's He must be the cheat code. He can't throw the dice worth a shit, though. Yeah. Literally, I don't think he hit one point all weekend. Horrible. No way. Horrible. Seven out He's every time? He's just a mooch. He, yeah. Well, no, he'd hit a couple numbers, but he'd never hit the point. Yeah. So he just freaking mooch off other people's good throws. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, thanks. I think you at Binion's, I might have set the four eight times and hit yeah. it eight times. And I wasn't playing any of it. No, not the four. Because the four is such a bad point. It's way on the end, you know. It was but I said it and hit it all the time. I don't know how I did it because it's so rare to do. But Went to Hash House. I was all right. Chicken and waffles. This has my face. It's it was. Tra- my buddy texted me. It was like Cluck Shack or the Crack Shack. Crack Shack? Yeah, that's what it was. Crack Shack, yeah. It was oh. chicken though? It was, yeah. I'll never forget it. Uh, <laughs> what, it was in. Did you go to war? I'll, I'll maybe I forgot huh? to that. Did you go to war? Uh, you know what? You remember it, where it was It felt at? like it. Uh, was it in the hotel you were staying at or it no? was not in a hotel? No. Okay. We went outside the hotel. Okay. So some would say the strip. Yeah. So you walked it. <laughs> I, we went to there. Yes. So the reason why it's burned into my memory, uh, I took, oh, I didn't take anything. 
I smoked almost an entire joint on the walk that it took to get there. And my thought process was I never smoke anymore because I could get randomly drug tested. Yeah. And so I said, I'm in Vegas. I know I'm going to be safe. I'm going to go hard. And I went in, I went to the dispensary and I bought the specialty joints. So they have the keef and the wax and everything in there. And I was like, he's oh. getting technical on me. Yeah. <laughs> it's got, yeah. It might be above your head. If it, yeah. If it gets you high, Listen, it was on that joint. <laughs> yeah. So he, here is, here is regular high. Here's the drugs in I, one thing. I was here. Yeah. So, we're walking to this restaurant and I'm like, well, we're on the way to go eat. You know, maybe I should get a little high on the way there. And uh, I spark up the joint. We're walking. I pass it over to someone. They take a little hit. I pass it over to the next person. They don't want any. I go, cool. Some for me. Pass it over to the next guy. They don't, want, they don't two, want any. Two for me, one for you. Yeah. <laughs> go to pass it again. They don't want any. I go, okay. Some for me. He was doing the old two for me. One and for I pass you. it over to the next guy and they say no. And I go. It's a little gonna, bit more for me. This, this is going to be quite a lot of joint for one man here. I, so I smoke almost the entire thing. And I get to the cluck shack or the crack shack. I don't even know what the fuck this place. I get to the chicken store. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm standing there and I'm so stoned that I don't even know if I could talk. <laughs> I am just bewildered. I am. I'm lost. And I have to. I, and so I told myself in the line, I was standing there. I haven't. I haven't. I don't know if I've blinked since I walked into the store. <laughs> I said, I'm just going to order what the guy in front of me orders. And I managed to muster up enough words to say his exact <laughs> order in front of me. Or I think I might have just you said, said his order. You didn't even say like, I'll I, take what he got. No, I think that is what I did. I go, I'll have that too. In the, in the most, I'll have in the most, that too. In the, in, the, in the most possibly robotic, sober voice I could say, I'll have that. And, I'll have that as well. <laughs> and <laughs> dude, 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 Imagine being that high I was, where you can't even speak. I couldn't even talk. And it was petrifying <laughs> because I've never been that high before in my life. I I consider myself an avid smoker back in my day when I was a young man. Yeah. I'd, I'd chief a little bit, but not anymore. And I was tossed. <laughs> and I, dude, and so I sit down with my food. Still probably haven't said a word since I ordered. I got my drink and I'm, I have a few sips. I'm sitting there eating my food. And I'm just staring. And the running joke is that uh, when me and my friends are messing around, I'll look at him and be like, hey, you feeling all right? <laughs> and just just to just be a shit. Did someone ask you that? Somebody asked me that. And they were like, hey, are you feeling all right? <laughs> and dude, I looked at him and I was, I thought he was being serious. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> and I was, dude, and I thought he was being completely serious I'm because, I, because, sure. I, because truthfully, I was not all right. <laughs> I was not I feeling had, all right. No, I was not at all. And I was like, you were waiting for someone to ask if you were feeling all right. Yeah. And, and the answer was no. I was like, <laughs> I don't. And so I looked at him. I said, I don't know. And <laughs> I'm sitting there and I'm eating my sandwich and I'm taking a few, taking a few bites and I'm sitting there chewing and I get a notification on my watch and I go, I look at my watch and it says, you haven't moved in 15 minutes <laughs> and your and your resting heart rate is above 160 beats per minute. And I look at my watch and read that and I go, I'm so fucked. I gotta run. <laughs> I am so <laughs> just tr like my heart just beating out on my chest, and I'm sitting there eating a chicken sandwich. Dude. You've reached like, your move goal, <laughs> yeah, dude. And I just like I was, yeah. That you should have got the one the that worst. says it's time to breathe, <laughs> dude. I turned that one off, but boy, did I need it there. <laughs> Let me tell you, I was in dire need of some breathing. Oh gosh, fucking a man. Yeah. I have. I don't think I've ever been that high before in my life, and it was petrifying. I never want to do that again. Well, if there's one place you'd want to do it, it's Vegas. There you go. I'll do it again. You yeah. want to go? <laughs> in Vegas? Yeah, I'll go again. Yeah, let's go October or December. Okay, deal. I just want to see you at Cluck Shack, and I'm going to say, Liam, are you feeling all right? <laughs> and I'm going to say no, because I promise you I'm going to have a whole other one of those specialty <laughs> joints to myself on the way there. Uh, yeah, Vegas, man's fun. I'm going there again in two weeks. Uh, less of a gambling trip. A uh, couple trip, a few couples. Um, more so pool and shows and meals, I think. Nice. But man, oh man, you know, you're gonna they're be like magnets. <laughs> I know you're going to be, itching. You'll, you'll get Shayna on the, on the craft Oh, hundred percent. You're going to have her, you're going to hand her a hundred bucks and say, let's go real quick. Yeah. Okay. And that's the nice part is like, I'll play less. Like when we went, we went hard, man. We played, we played hard. Like yeah. you can go there and just play You've long and enjoy yourself. Yeah. We didn't. We're like, we are making money. This is what we're here to run do. a business trip. Yeah, exactly. Um, and honestly, like we did, we left there. All right. For being in Vegas, we weren't down very much at all. No. Um, 
but yeah, that'll be more so sit by the pool. We're going to get a cabana at Flamingo, uh, go to Planet Don't Hollywood do that. Pool. No? Don't do the cabana? <laughs> Why no. not? They kill you. They, <laughs> they try to kill. Ki- they try to kill you. They try taking my life from me. I just had a. Uh, yeah. I just had a memory of you chugging that. Uh, what was it? Liquid, liquid IV. IV. Our personal waitress yeah. for our cabana came up and gave Broden liquid IV. She's like, is your friend I, feeling all right? That bad? <laughs> oh yeah. They had to try and convince the people that it was a joke I would play on staff when we would go out. Is that yeah. I was so intoxicated. That That's I would just, genius. I would, That's what I we would told. Just, the security guard came over. Yeah. And it's like, we might have to tell your friend to leave. We're like, no, literally he does this every trip we go on. Yeah. He plays this stupid joke where he acts drunk to see if staff will come over. Yeah. And they're like, oh, really? I'm like, yeah, it's fucking stupid. We've been trying to get him to stop. And yeah. then they're like, oh, okay. And they laughed. We're like, <laughs> like he might die that in 20 minutes. Genius, dude. Yeah. That is, did you think of that on the spot? Yeah. Yeah. That is fucking sick. I was like, oh, God. Because we didn't want him to Security be like, guard? you got to take your friend out. Because yeah. then we all got to Then leave. everyone leaves. Yeah, yeah, that's no fun. He, so then we goes, told Broden, we're like, figure it the fuck out. He goes, <laughs> count, count backwards from three is yeah. what he says. And I go, three, two, one. He goes, oh, he's fine. <laughs> yeah, like that was, his, that was his level of, is this guy fucked up? He's like, three, two, one. And I, I said it and they let me stay. Yeah, it was a good time. The commandos are fun. So yeah. we're going to go. Yeah, so the plan for that is we're going to go to... Uh, Monday, for the people that have never seen it, we're going to walk the whole strip, do the whole kit and caboodle like oh, you love, bro. Uh, and then Tuesday, we'll go to get the cabana at the Flamingo, go downtown Tuesday, see cum jugs again. I want to introduce myself. If he's myself. back, I need to see a picture of him. I'm going to take a selfie with cum jugs if he's there, and I'll send it to you. See if you can introduce him and Miss Tubman <laughs> and uh, see Carry if you can it, get yeah. something together with them. Uh, they could share their own circle. Yeah. It is fun, though. Sometimes you walk past those circles. like So <clears throat> on Fremont Street, there's like painted circles. They're like three by three circles. And the street performers have to stay in those circles. They can't just go wherever. So we we walked past this older black couple that was one was playing the piano and one was singing. They were singing like 60s music, just enjoying themselves. It was I'm good. Like, it was good I'm music. Like, I like those street performers. You know, they're having a good time. This is enjoyable. They set up their chairs, play the piano. And then you get people that are just, you get cum jugs. Yeah. yeah. You, get, you get a guy trying yeah. to single-handedly break the world Guinness World Records. God, man, I wish I had a picture of him. He just like standing in a circle and then all around his feet were just jugs of cum yeah. and other stuff. Yeah, it was water and <laughs> ejaculate. And, I just wanted to know what, other stuff. what his thing was. It's so uh, weird. Yeah, because we saw him twice and he didn't do nothing but sides have... Jugs. <laughs> yeah, he's just the owner of Jugs. <laughs> but yeah, oh, uh, we're going to go downtown Tuesday and then Wednesday we're going to go to Absinthe, which I'm pretty pumped about. Absinthe is probably the best show I've ever seen. Yeah. And I got to figure out what kind of tickets they want to get. I personally want to get the front row tickets. You want to get made fun of? Yeah. Oh, I don't want to get made fun of, but I want to be close for the show. There's So I talked to Shane about this and she said she'd do the front row too. Or another 10 bucks, you can get that table. The front row table. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Which you got to have a couple cocktails in you if you're going to go into that show in the front yeah, row. Yeah, you need to. You're oh, going to get no. picked on. If you're a minority or anything that's not just a normal person. Regular dude. Yeah. Like. Uh, you'll get picked if on. If you are way. not a white, straight person. That is not like just a normal. Like. The, no. You I, could be. You could be. Two anything. females together. They're going to make jokes about that. Yeah. If you're. Bigger, heavier set, make jokes about that. If you yeah. got a mark on your face, they'll make jokes about that. Then you got to be prepared, man. If you're tear, yeah. tear yeah. you up, and it's hilarious. Yeah, like it's awesome. So it's like if he talks about me, I'm gonna be wearing my Chelsea boots and my fedora. Yeah, I want him to. I want him to pick on me. I want to have Bring it. it on. Yeah, I want it. I just want to laugh my ass off. Because like some people funny. that go in there and they get so defensive about it. Yeah. Last year when we went, there was two old ladies, probably like 55, 60 years old, sitting together. And he was calling them cougars and lesbian cougars, and they were getting pissed. And I'm like, if you go to that show, you kind of got to know that it's like, yeah, that, oh, that's has his, to be that's able to his wear whole it. Stick. Yeah, yeah, because he's the like. There's a host. There's two hosts. A gazillionaire. That in between every act, they come out and they do their few minutes of comedy. Basically, is what it is. Yeah. Talk shit to the audience. Yeah, and every time he comes out there, he just picks on somebody else to make fun of, and yeah. it is awesome. Yeah. I want to see if I can get picked on. So he's in the back, like loading up new material. Like he's got to be, yeah. He's got to be looking out. Yeah, yeah. that make that that would make perfect sense because to just like riff like that 
on and on and on. Which he could be. I'm sure he could. Yeah. I'm sure some of it is. It's, oh, yeah. it's like widely said that like that's the best show you can see in Vegas. Yeah. yeah. And he could be doing like, I think I would be all right at that. It's literally going up and just talking shit. Yeah. I could look at someone and talk shit immediately. Yeah. Like, look at him and be like, that's the thing I want to talk shit about. Yeah. I th- and that's pretty much what he does. That'd be perfect. That's just a regular dude. Yeah. I remember last year when we were sitting there, we were in like this third to last row. Yeah. Which none of the seats are bad because it's like 20 feet away from the stage. Yeah. And I wanted him to talk to us or me. And I'm like screaming from the back when he's asked. He's like, who else is out there? And I'm like, yeah, back here. Yeah. And everyone else is like, Easton, shut the fuck up. And I'm like, come <laughs> on, guys. I want to <laughs> get in this show. But like, yeah, Shim was sitting next to me. Oh, yeah. man. A little paranoid to get picked on. Yeah. He's like, just shut your fucking mouth. I'm like. Oh, God, you got to get Shim. You got to shove Shim to the front yeah. row, dude. I would love to see him. Just I can't get imagine flamed. go to melt. Vegas with Shim and I'm like, hey, I got his front row tickets. He'd be like, yeah. I'm not going. You can't tell him. Don't <laughs> tell him. Seats, yeah. yeah, don't tell him, dude. Yeah, because the lady walks in, brings you to your seats. Yeah. He's like, hey, I got his tickets. Don't worry about Perfect. it. Perfect. I got it covered. She yeah. walks at the front don't row. Don't even mention it, dude. Make sure you bring $900 for drinks if you're trying to get a drink there. It's a gas. Yeah. No, I'm not shitting you. Good drink. Absinthe. $30 yeah. for a small for a drink. drink. There's absinthe in it. I've heard things about absinthe. It's good. I haven't heard a lot. It, stuff. It'll mess I was going to try up. to buy a bottle, but apparently, I don't know if it's a You can't buy basis. it here. You yeah. can't. It's like not for retail sale here in the United States. Yeah. Because that's where, like, I was like, this shit is good. I, on the flight home, I was looking at it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can't buy it. I'm sure you could find it somewhere. You could order it. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Then we, yeah. we go ahead. We leave Vegas Thursday morning. Um, Come back. And immediately Friday, have to go to Bismarck and play in McQuaid's. Yep. We uh, got rained out Saturday, so we didn't even play. Yeah. Good car draw. Liam, you were the car draw man, weren't you? Yeah. So for the people that don't know, had the to car put draw. For the team. Had car to draw. Put for the team. What was it? Ace to eight? Is that what it was? No, two it to was nine. two to nine. Two to nine. Two to nine. So dirt via rain delay, since we couldn't play games, they drew cards to simulate the games. So they went through the entire bracket via time. So 10 o'clock in the morning, all the way to 7.30 at night, whatever it was. And every team there for whatever division that you were playing in, whatever rec, stuff like that, you just went down. One person from every team showed up, pulled a card. and saw Our whole team showed up? Yeah, basically. A fraction. <laughs> a fraction of them. I was so confused. I thought I had to be there. Because like you guys like, were yeah. at the card draw. I was like... Do I spo- am I supposed to be at this card draw? In jersey. In uniform, yeah. <laughs> no, only one person. Line up on there, stage. We don't want to let Nick be the only one there. That'd be yeah, a little, true. A little messed up. So We didn't want him to draw either. We as the story progresses. <laughs> as, as it turns out, yeah. So uh, our other teammate, Nick, he drew the first card, lost. So that immediately puts us in the loser's bracket. So we lose again, we're done. And finally, after waiting for another four hours until we could pull our next card, uh, Nick goes... Liam, you want to do it? And I'm like, why not? He didn't want, yeah, he didn't want to be the... Didn't want to be the only one. Yeah. yeah. And so I, I, pull my, you, I pull my wallet out and I start rubbing my lucky $2 bill in the back side of my wallet. You got one of them, huh? Yeah. Lucky, rubbing the lucky $2 bill. And sure shit, I yank, I pull out an eight out of nine. And that just solidified it right there. So we could What'd play. they pull? Probably like, a, I think it was like a three or four. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Who cares? I think it might have been a five. Dude, I Who have cares? a $2 bill. I might bring that to Vegas in two weeks. Dude, I'm telling you. That's Does it work for you? It just did. Shitting me? It's true. It just did. It's very true. It's that's, one for that's, one. That's, 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 I'm, yeah, one for one. That's all the fucking solidification. And 100% I mean. is what I'd like to hear. Exactly. It'd be a one for one or a thousand for a thousand. I'm feeling good. Yeah. So then we played. And if you guys are watching this, you can see my leg is mangled. <clears throat> that's because Broden sent me around. Third base to a ground ball to shortstop. <laughs> to so shortstop. Easton was on second. Ground ball to short. I'm coaching third. And a uh, guy bobbles it just one too many times that I like to see. <laughs> yeah. So I go, 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 yeah, go, 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 go. And that's what he did too. He doesn't do the regular third base wave. He's like, he put, go, 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 go. You should go. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I, and he goes and, and uh, I don't know. He just decided that he was going to jump straight into his knee on the ground. I'm looking at the catcher and I'm like, he's getting this ball soon and I'm not close enough to the plate. Yeah. Yeah. So then like I'd slid earlier in the game head first, which is good because when you're wearing shorts, you just go head first. Yeah. Should have done it again. But this 400 pound catcher is blocking the plate. And I'm like, what do I even do here? Yeah. I should have just got out, which I did get out. I wasn't <laughs> even safe. You did? 
Yeah. Oh. I should have just been like, ah, you got me. Roden's an idiot. Oh, Turn around. I remember idiot. that guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we were winning, I'm out. We were I'm winning done. that game substantially. Yes. Why'd you send him? We were up by like seven at the time, and which isn't what? a whole lot in beer league softball. But. Here's the thing I've learned over the past weekend is that the rules in softball never make the last out at third or home. Yeah. Because why make the last out at home? It's so easy to get hit in softball. If you're standing on third, any yeah. hits are any hits are around. This is true. So, so that's what I'm gonna live by now. Well, you no had it made in the infield. To to be fair, uh, that team, I didn't know if they could throw the ball or not. It's true. That's true. Those, this guy those just guys, pulled out his one hose of the weekend. Yeah. yeah. Those guys also, yeah, those are a couple of guys that they pulled winning cards and they should have probably not even been in the tournament. It was not a good softball team. Apparently, no. they scored 25 runs before the Yeah, playoffs. they did. Yeah, they scored a shit, like 20-some runs and beat like 15-run ruled the team before that we played. Which I wanted to play that team. That would be fun. <laughs> We've played two innings. What can you yeah. 50 run rule a team? <laughs> we would have just crushed them. Yeah, yeah, because we we put up how many runs against that other team? Like 20, maybe a lot, 18 or 20. Yeah, we stacked yeah. them. Yeah, so McQuaid's was fun. Consolation championship, fifth place. We didn't lose a game. Yeah, we won all the games that we could, did I mean, what we could. Yeah, it's pretty uh, sweet. Broad made frozen burgers on Friday, which I thought were good. And honestly, I think some of our teammates are soft for not eating them. I oh, hundred percent. I thought they were good. Way yeah. better than the other years. Hundred percent. The other years burgers. Just bad. what am I like when I have to cook for fourteen people? Uh, well, more than that. Everybody's got oh, a yeah. girlfriend with. So I mean, yeah. you take 11, 12 guys plus everybody's girlfriend, wife. Yeah. yeah. Do you expect me to sit there and form up forty-eight patties for you guys? I'm not doing that. <laughs> Smash burgers. Yeah. You know no, what I mean? Thanks, like dude. when no. he's like, they better not be frozen. Okay. Well, no, you, you go you spend could, twenty-five bucks for yeah. freaking thirty burgers. You do yeah. it. Yeah. I'm not gonna sit there and form up your patties for you. I'm gonna un I'm gonna unpackage them and put them on the grill. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's all they do. It. Figure out what patties they use at the Magic City ba- baseball games. Yeah, those like burgers, uh, those yeah. burgers are gas, dude. I had those some burgers so at the lake this weekend. Just the Walmart thirty-two burger box. Yeah. I was I was like, what, how do I say this? Thirty-two burger box for twenty-five dollars, and they're amazing. Really? Had him at the lake yesterday. And I was like, these burgers are good. He's like, yeah, Walmart frozen patties. Like, sick. Mm. I almost prefer a frozen patty. I don't know if I go that far. Like if I'm at home. I definitely wouldn't go that far. If I'm, I'm at home, I, I'll take the time. But yeah, yeah, when exactly. not me. there's 10 or more people. You can't expect me. To you do guys that. go ground beefs, make a patty, huh? Yeah, I do. That's what I did this weekend when I was at the lake, but I was only cooking for, me and my girlfriend, five people total, five, yeah. six. And so I had to form up, I don't fucking know, eight patties. Yeah. So thought out some ground beef. I had a mixing bowl, mixed them up. You guys, them. you guys pepper jack cheese people? Oh, yeah. Not. Uh, oh. Pepper jack cheese. I am. I love you pepper jack cheese. Goated. Juicy Lucy. You ever have a Juicy oh, yeah. Lucy? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. You ever had Carolina Reaper cheese? Yeah. I will never. <sighs> No thanks. They they so they will offer it to you on your sandwich at Magic City Hoagies. Really? Yes. So good. Not a spice guy, hey Liam. Low spice tolerance. Pretty low on the spice chain. Yeah. I'll do. I'll try it. I'll I'll do anything. I do not care. Okay. Would I order it? No. Well, if you hand it to me, if I'm like, here's your burger. Yeah. I'll eat it. Yeah. You're like, oh, it's gonna fucking suck, but okay. I will eat it. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. I don't turn down food. I was like, you were at Spicy Pie eating those wings. And you're like, holy yeah. shit, what kind of wings are these? We're like, mango habanero. And you go, damn, they're so hot. As you grab another one. <laughs> yeah. damn, I, got, I want to this one a little bit. Yeah. I said, they didn't skip the habanero. His, yeah. His, his face was beat red. He's just, <laughs> just glistening from all the sweat. And he's like, it's so hot. As Isn't he's that, taking another one. I'm like, dude, yeah. quit eating them. He goes, I wonder why yeah. that happens. Why do you, why does your sinuses just start flaring when you eat hot shit? I don't know. Because you know when you eat hot wings and then this your, your face, shine, dude. it's like my skin's melting yeah. off right now. Yeah, I don't know why that happens. You know what we? You know what we should do an episode here. We should do our own hot ones. Hot ones, that'd be good. That'd be that's a good shit. idea. We should, try to, we should try to do the whole episode while eating the hottest <laughs> wings but possible. It, dude, Broden knows this. Remember that one time I made you breakfast for NFL Sunday and I had that hot sauce, and for like thirty minutes I was like. <sighs> <sighs> That's what I'd be doing the whole show. I'd be like, 
Yeah. You? We're gonna need to we're gonna <laughs> like need, try to breathe out the I was hot. just <laughs> eating this hot sauce. He's just like, how are you? I was crying. He's like, I don't know. I'm like, how do you do this? I'm like, I don't know, man. I just eat it. <laughs> yeah, he had his shirt off. I'm like, what where'd you get all that chest hair? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. That's a good oh man, that good idea. I mean, I would really want to do that. Because I can't handle heat almost at all. But I would do it. We'll for get sure. you. A, we'll get us each a jug of milk and jug of find cum. the hot. Some <laughs> jug. Yeah, I'll ca- I'll talk to my boy yeah. <laughs> in two weeks. Hey, could you? Because you got that? a high heat tolerance. Yeah, I you mean, could, you could have spice. He goes to B Dubs and just orders the hot shit for fun. Yeah, you. It's higher than yours, lower than his. I'd say. Yeah. Like I, I have hot sauce on pretty much as much as I can. Yeah, but it's if it gets like I ate one of Broden's wings at Buffalo Wild Wings one time. I'm like fuck that. Yeah. No thanks. I want to, I want to have the flavor. Yeah, I would like to enjoy my wings. That's flavor that's time. where I like to go to. It's like I like it spicy, but if it doesn't have any flavor along with the heat, it sucks. Yeah, yeah. I've found one of my death row meals: everything bagel, Miracle Whip egg, pepper jack cheese, bacon, whatever you want. Sometimes I do turkey. Sometimes I do regular bacon, and then Big Deck barbecue. Uh, what a garlic habanero hot sauce. Oh, that good. I could have it every morning for breakfast. You can. <laughs> I got news for you, pal. Yeah. You make it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I, I probably won't make it tomorrow. But it's like, it takes a little bit of time. You know, sometimes I'm like, I just want a yogurt and move yeah. on with the day. Yogurt, banana. But dude, it is. That good. Gas. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I made when I was like, <sighs> yeah. But now I've trained that myself. That dude makes some damn good sauce. Yeah. The only thing I'd say, Zach Willis, if you're listening to the show, is it gets clumped up around the tip of the, the nipple of the bottle. <laughs> Cut so f- the nipple bigger. Well, it's a glass bottle, so. Even the tip? The whole thing. Is it's glass. not a squeeze. It's a pour. It's a. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. It's like a Cholula, but thicker. Oh. Nathan, go ahead. Tell us why our nose runs. Uh, basically, just to flush out the spice. Your body doesn't respond to it as like a good thing. It's like a. Oh, so it's, like so trying, it's, it's trying just to, trying to flush out. So it's trying to help us. Trying. I wonder if it actually does. Like, if that makes me feel less hot. Probably not. It probably goes away quicker. I bet if you didn't react to it and it was just that hot without a reaction, you'd probably suffer for longer. Yeah. You just don't realize it. It just sucks really bad because it sucks really bad. (laughs) You know? (laughs) Sucks because it sucks. You can tell it's an Aspen because of the way that it is. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, I've never been great with heat, I don't think. I think... You know what? Now I'd like to find out. I think I think if we actually had like a hot ones and I could measure what my heat tolerance is via Scoville units, yeah, then I'd like to know. Let's do it. So it's like I'm a four, yeah, or whatever it is. Let's on like I'm this week or wherever while we're in well, Deadwood. We're be, when do you leave Thursday? Thursday, Thursday morning. Thursday morning. We get Shit. back. When are you Sunday, back? Some, uh, Sunday morning. <laughs> Sunday morning. <laughs> Sunday. Sometimes I was Sunday. I'm gonna bring that up. Yeah, but uh, sometimes Sunday. I'm gonna see if I can find some like crazy hot shit down there yeah. that we could bring back and we'll make some chicken wings that we could dunk them all in but well we can't get it here we could but like, i imagine when we're in deadwood there's going to be some like wild stuff like ass bat blaster yeah. shit on you five thousand <laughs> how about i don't know Let's, my brain is wild to do it. we're gonna go like ways. straight from honey barbecue up to uh honey barbecue big devil's so foot hot. in your ass hot honey barbecue is so hot <laughs> he's you're an idiot. Sweet Asian I'm chili. Idiot. Sweet Thai chili, whatever it is. My favorite wing sauce. Where are those from? You can get them a lot I, of places. Uh, Elevation. Applebee's. Elevation used to have good ones. What? Uh, there's some. That was good. Wings and rings. Yeah. Wings and um, rings sucks because you got to bring a fucking snorkel to get to their you think wings. So? Yeah. No, uh, you not anymore. Them, you, don't. you could ask for them a little less wet. <laughs> That's how no, it they, they switch it up because I used to, to it. hate it. Yeah, how bad it was. Really, but they, it's not like a bowl of soup with some wings in it. They anymore. must have heard the rumors. There's some really good ones because it was bad for a like while. Spice. Fuck, dude! Every time I'd go there, I'm like, "Can I have a soup bowl of wings, please?" Yeah. And then just be the sauce, and then it's like, "Here's a spoon to find your wings." Yeah, yeah. It was. I'll, I'll give it another shot though. I like their uh, what are those fries? Garlic or aioli fries? Garlic aioli. Yeah, yeah. You gotta try these next time you go. I'm gonna pull it up for you right now. I think Asian really, really Zing good. is like always just a go to for me. Yeah, those it's are good. so good. Yeah, B dubs or whatever. But like any type of like sweet Thai or sweet chili sauce like that, I really like. Bourbon mild. Bourbon mild. Bourbon mild and blue cheese. Okay. Do, I don't do you like blue, blue cheese? No, I, dude. I'm I like you, blue cheese. I just usually pick ranch over dude, it. Dude, grab the blue cheese. I'm telling you, the blue cheese at Wings and Rings is phenomenal. I'm really picky about my blue cheese. I wonder if we could get a Have wing. Have you ever had it? Oh, yeah. From Wings and Rings? I've had a lot of places, but. Do you like it? 
I do, but my it's grandma good. makes blue cheese, like her own homemade dressing. Yeah. And every time I eat blue cheese, I compare it to that. And if yeah. it's not that good, then I don't like it is really. It that good? Hers is phenomenal. Like you'd almost eat it like soup. She puts a little toe cheese on there. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> little <laughs> cheese for the blue cheese. <laughs> but it, it is Just mixing it up herself like you're making wine, dude. <laughs> yeah. Stomping it around in there. Stomping great. <laughs> yeah. uh, I wonder if we could get like a wing sponsor, like B does. Do like think so our three do dudes it? hot ones presented by yeah. Buffalo Wild Wings, why not? I don't. Hey. I don't think so. But maybe. Why not? We could maybe get like a, a whiskey nine or an X golf or somewhere around. There. Let's reach out because B Dubs and Wings Rings is so corporate. I think. Yeah. Pretty big. Yeah. Uh, let's let's reach out to whiskey nine and see if they'd be willing to make us, a, or maybe like, like via like Scovo units, like legit hot ones. Like these are pretty good. These ones are going to make you not feel right. Bones Barbecue down the road. They might do it. Ooh. Talk to Jared Lundin. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Might be an option. What other, what, what other wing places are there? In town? Not much. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe uh, me, Mexico's got to have some hot sauces. It's Yeah. It's got to be places that are like kind of local, you know? Yeah. Mm. Maybe we'll Planet Pizza has some we wing sauces honest, or something. I don't know. I think that'd be a good reach out. Yeah. Uh, we're probably close to wrapping up the show. I think we're over an hour. But the one thing I'll say is last night I was looking at the moon, dude. And it was oh, when it was that way, and red. No, it was white where I was at, Rice Lake. But it was so bright, I thought it was a person up there holding a flashlight. Like, I looked at it for twenty minutes. I was just baffled. It was casting. It looked. It felt like daytime. Yeah. I don't know if that's normal. Do you guys like? I said that last night. Well, me and Carolyn were driving back from Metagoshi, and I said, "Look at the moon. Like, how bright is the moon?" It was insane. Yeah. Like, it's almost like God changed the light bulb. He's like, there's like, there's your new moon. Well, yeah. I hope you guys like it. <laughs> well, like, new moon. So it's probably got something years. to do with the hologram they put up because space is fake and <laughs> yeah. you're just flat. There so. it is. How about evolution? <laughs> evolution? What do you want to know? Hold on. Before we get into that, <laughs> I'm going to go out tonight and look at the moon. And I just got to see. Because I was like, this is the craziest shit I've ever seen. It's so all probably going to be back just as bright. I don't, I don't know, man. Unless there's overcast. I don't think there was a lot of overcast last night. There was no, no, it was pretty clear. At the lake, yeah, it was clear as, clear as day. But yeah, evolution. No, let's skip it. Okay. We've, we've, we can do an e- episode on the, evolution. We've reached the time limit on this one. Yeah. Do you want to do an episode on evolution? We could. We'll talk about evolution when our nose is running from devil's piss hot sauce. Yeah. I'm cr- I'm still, literally, I'm sitting here crying because my mouth hurts so bad. I love it. All right. Well, that's a wrap. Uh, just give a shout out to Mason Morelli. Signed a deal with the Vegas Golden Knights. Pretty Hometown cool. guy. Hometown hero. Uh, there's not any shout outs you guys want to give. It's been a couple of weeks. Oh, shout out. Shout out to the people that listen to this, that we yes. don't realize listen to this and we don't shout them out. Thank you for listening. Yes. The people that are f- trying to slide under the rug. We want to get you, but the people that listen, don't say anything. Don't tell us. I'm going to shout out Burke. Yeah. Yeah. Just Burke. Okay. Hey, Burke. Just cause. All right. Yeah. Cool. dude. I want to shout out LeBron James. <laughs> Yeah, secret because, listener LeBron James. Yeah, yeah. he does, he won't say in the media. I'm trying to talk him into it, but if he did, you know, we appreciate it. Yeah, he thanks is. for listening. Yeah. Uh, all right, that is episode forty. What is it? Nine. Nine. Forty-nine. 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 Fifty burger next week. Sorry for the week off. Hopefully, you guys uh, enjoyed this episode. Enjoy your Fourth of July. Uh, happy birthday, America! Red, white, and blue. Go USA. Amen. Sayonara. What is that? What do they say in Muslim culture? Allahu Akbar. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. That's what they say. Peace be with you. <laughs>